Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council? Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. But he's a specter. Everything he touches is classified. I can't find any hard evidence. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. I didn't tell anyone, I that swear! That was smart, Doc. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you?! Let her go. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. You took him down clean. Sometimes you get lucky. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. I know those men threatened you, but if you tell us who they work for, we can protect you. They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. Does this have anything to do with the investigation into Saren? I think it might. Dr. Michelle, tell us what happened. A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Then what? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Fist betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. She must have something that proves he's a traitor. Did the Quarian mention anything about Saren or the Geth? She did. The information she was going to trade. She said it had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we saw him in the bar. A Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the Academy before he leaves. Move out. Thanks for bringing me on board, Commander. I knew working with the Spectre would be better than life at CSEC. Have you worked with the Spectre before? Well, no, but I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. But CSEC, you're buried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. For the most part, the rules are there for a reason. Maybe. But sometimes it feels like the rules are only there to stop me from doing my work. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. But CSEC wants it done their way. Protocol and procedure come first. That's why I left. So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things? There's more to it than that. It didn't start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with more and more red tape. CSEC's handling of Saren was typical. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hate leaving. I hope you made the right choice. I'd hate for you to regret it later. Well, that's sort of why I teamed up with you. It's a chance for me to get off the Citadel, see how things are done outside CSEC. Either way, I plan to make the most of this. And without CSEC headquarters looking over my shoulder, well, maybe I can get the job done my way for a change. If getting the job done means endangering innocent people, then no. We get the job done right, not fast. Got it? I wasn't trying to. I understand, Commander. Commander, how are you? Why did you want to be a CSEC officer in the first place? That's a good question. There were several reasons, I guess. 
Like what? Probably the same as most officers. I wanted to fight injustice, wanted to help people. I guess my father had something to do with it, too. He was CSEC, one of the best. I grew up hearing about his accomplishments or seeing his picture on the vids after a big arrest. He's taking my resignation pretty hard. That's tough. But you'd think he'd be impressed you're going after Saren. My father's a CSEC man to the bone. Do things right or don't do them at all, he says. He thinks I'm being too rash, too impatient. He's worried I'll become just like Saren. He actually talked me out of becoming a Spectre when I was younger, for the same reasons. You were asked to be a Spectre? Well, I was targeted as a possible Spectre candidate, me and about a thousand other Turian military recruits. I could have received special training, but my father didn't like it. He despises the Spectres. He hates the idea of someone having unlimited power with no accountability. He wouldn't like you, Commander. No offense. I suppose I can understand his concern. You can. But Saren's not going to play by our rules, CSEC's rules. If you want to nail Saren, you need to send someone who isn't restricted by policies and procedures. Don't get caught up in the details, Garrus. We'll find him, and then we'll stop him. That's all you need to know. Good point. Thanks, Commander. Commander, good to see you. You've been with CSEC a while. Have you seen much action? Well, not as much as you, but... Yeah, I've seen some interesting things. I bet you have. Anything in particular that stands out? I remember this Solarian geneticist I was sent to investigate. That case was a bit... disturbing. What happened? Why were you investigating him? I was tasked with tracking black market trade on the Citadel. Most of it harmless, nothing I needed to pursue. But during the course of my investigation, I noticed an increase in the trade of body parts. Organs, mostly. We usually get a few of those, but not the numbers I was seeing. We weren't sure if there was a new black market lab, or if some freak was harvesting organs from citizens. So what was it? Both, actually. But it took us a while to figure that out. So how did you figure out what was happening? First, we got a hold of a sample and ran DNA tests. The weird thing was, the match led us to a Turian who was still alive and was very convinced he'd never lost his liver. After a bit of digging, I discovered this Turian worked briefly for Dr. Salion, the geneticist. So I went to his lab hoping to find evidence of cloned organ development, but there was nothing. No Salarian hearts, no Turian livers, not one Krogan testicle. <laughs> You're kidding, right? Why would anyone want Krogan testicles? Some Krogan believe that testicle transplants can increase their virility, counteract the effects of the genophage. It doesn't work, but that doesn't stop them from buying. They'll pay up to 10,000 credits each. That's 40,000 for a full set. Somebody's making a killing out there. What'd you do about the geneticist? I brought in some of his employees for interrogation, to see if I could get them to talk. While I was interviewing one of them, I came across something suspicious. Good thinking. Lackeys are always easier to scare. Exactly. Though in this case it paid off in a different way. One of my detainees started bleeding profusely during the interview. We offered to patch him up and he got frantic, freaked out. I ordered a full exam to find out what was going on. Our medics found incisions all over his body. Some of them fresh. That was our big break. These people weren't just Dr. Salion's employees. They were test tubes. Walking, living test tubes. So he was growing spare parts in his own employees? Exactly. He cloned their organs right inside their own bodies. Then he harvested them and sold them off. Most of the victims were poor. He'd pay them each a small percentage of the sales, but only if the organs were good. Sometimes an organ wouldn't grow properly so he'd just leave it in them. Most of them were a mess, but only on the inside, hidden so nobody could see it. I hope he got what he deserved. That's the worst part. We never caught him. Why not? What the hell happened? He ran, blew his lab, grabbed some of his employees, and headed for the nearest space dock. By the time I found out, his ship was already leaving. He threatened to kill his hostages if we tried to stop him. 
but you went after him anyway, right? I ordered Citadel Defense to shoot him down, but CSEC headquarters countermanded my order. They were worried about the hostages, worried about civilian casualties, and the ship was destroyed so close to the Citadel. I told them those hostages were dead anyway. We just used them to make more organs. They wouldn't listen. No wonder you hated it there. Those idiots just let him fly away. Yes, they did. I went to Patlin and told him what I thought of him and his policies. He said if I didn't like it, I could quit. Well, I almost did. All they had to do was disable that ship, stop him from running. Maybe the hostages die, maybe they don't, but at least we stopped the bastard responsible for it all. A few casualties is a small price to pay to stop someone like that. Yeah, exactly. I mean, those hostages might be wishing they'd died by now anyway. Just wish I could have stopped him. That's all. Do you have any idea what happened to Dr. Salian? I sent out feelers from time to time, hoping to find something. I thought I'd found him a while back. He changed ships and changed his name to Dr. Hart. His idea of a joke, I guess. I told the military, but they weren't convinced it was him. I got the transponder frequency for his new ship, but I just can't get anyone to check it out. I'll check out the coordinates when I get a chance. I was hoping you'd say that. But Commander, take me with you when you go. If it's Saleon, I want to be there when you find him. Thank you. Thank you for saving me from those things. Commander, that's him. That's Dr. Saleon. What? My name is Hart! Dr. Hart! Please, get me out of here! Are you sure it's him? Positive. There's no escape this time, Doctor. I'd harvest your organs first, but we don't have the time. You're crazy. He's crazy! Please, don't let him do this to me! Put him out of his misery so we can get going. Gladly. Your days of butchering are over, Doctor. No! Please! Please! That was... satisfying. Good. Remember that feeling. That's how it should be. I will, Commander. Well, I guess we're done here. Commander, I... What can I do for you? Something bothering you? It's Saren. I'm starting to wonder whether we'll ever find him. He's always one step ahead of us, and he's got those damn geth. We're getting close, Garrus. We'll find him. I wish I had your confidence. I just can't stand the thought of him getting away with everything he's done. I know you're doing everything you can, and if anyone can catch him, it's you, but... If there's anything else I can do to help, anything, just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. I understand your concern, but we will find him. Just make sure you're ready to go when we do. Yes, ma'am. You can count on me. Thanks for hearing me out. I appreciate it. Can I ask you something, Commander? What is it? Are you worried that the Council might be protecting Saren? I mean, they were really dragging their heels before. What if we find him, bring him back to the Citadel, and they refuse to act? I get the feeling this isn't a question. Speak your mind, Garrus. Well, maybe we shouldn't give them the chance, Commander. In my opinion, Saren's too dangerous to be kept alive. Too much could happen. He could escape, or the Council might let him go. If we find him, when we find him, I say we make sure we stop him, permanently. I'm glad you see it that way. I never had any intention of capturing that bastard. When I see him, he dies. Good. The Council won't like it, but they can't stop you either. You see, this is why I want to be a Spectre. You never have to worry about bureaucratic idiots making a mess of everything. Just make sure you're ready when it happens. Yes, ma'am. Commander, I wanted to thank you. What for, Garrus? For everything. Taking me with you, letting me be part of your team. I've learned a lot. I've thought about what you said, about eliminating the threat immediately, regardless of the cost. You were right. And you were right about Dr. Salian, too. Killing him was the only solution. This way, we'll know he'll never hurt anyone again. I'm glad you see it that way. Keep that in mind when we meet Saren. Don't worry, Commander. I will. I can't believe we stole the Normandy. 
I mean, I'm not surprised after everything you've told me, but still. You sound worried, Garrus. No, not really. If you're wrong, we'll pay for it. But if you're right and we did nothing, I think we'd regret it a whole lot more. I just hope we can catch Saren before they realize we're missing. We'll catch him. Just be ready when we do. Yes, Commander. Archangel? skill sharp. A little target practice. You okay? Been better, but it sure is good to see a friendly face. Killing mugs is hard work, especially on my own. What are you doing out here on Omega? I got fed up with all the bureaucratic crap on the Citadel. Figured I could do more good on my own. At least it's not hard to find criminals here. All I have to do is point my gun and shoot. How'd you manage to piss off every major Merc organization in the Terminus systems? It wasn't easy. I really had to work at it. I am amazed that they teamed up to fight me. They must really hate me. Since when did you start calling yourself Archangel? It's just a name the locals gave me for all my good deeds. <laughs> I don't mind it, but please, it's uh, <clears throat> just Garrus to you. You nailed me good a couple times, by the way. Concussive rounds only. No harm done. Didn't want the mercs getting suspicious. Uh-huh. If I wanted to do more than take your shields down, I'd have done it. Besides, you were taking your sweet time. I needed to get you moving. Well, we got here, but I don't think getting out will be as easy. No, it won't. That bridge has saved my life, funneling all those witless idiots into scope. But... It works both ways. They'll slaughter us if we try to get out that way. So we just sit here and wait for them to take us out? It's not all that bad. This place has held them off so far. And, with the three of you, I suggest we hold this location, wait for a crack in their defenses, take our chances. It's not a perfect plan, but it's a plan. How'd you let yourself get into this position? My feelings got in the way of my better judgment. It's a long story. I'll make you a deal. You get me out of here alive, and I'll tell you the whole damn thing. I didn't like sneaking anyway. Time to spill a little murk blood. Glad to see you haven't changed. Let's see what they're up to. Hmm. Looks like they know their infiltration team failed. Take a look. Scouts. Eclipse, I think. More than scouts. One less now, though. Indeed. We better get ready. I'll stay up here. I can do a lot of damage from this vantage point. You... You can do what you do best. Just like old times, Shepard. I want something done properly. All right, let's see how you handle this, Archangel. You're kicking ass, Shepard. They barely touched me. And we got Jareth in the process. I've been hunting that little bastard for months. We've still got blood pack and blue suns left. Think we can make a break for it? Maybe. Let's see what they're up to. They've reinforced the other side, heavily. But they're not coming over the bridge yet. What are they waiting for? What the hell was that? Damn it. They breached the lower level. Well, they had to use their brains eventually. You'd better get down there, Shepard. I'll keep the bridge clear. Let's split up two and two. Keep one of my team here. You sure? 
Who knows what you'll find down there? Jacob, stay with Garrus. Keep him alive. If you say so. I'm not sure it's a good idea. Thanks, Shepard. You better get going. We're on our way. Go down a level. The basement door is on the west side of the main room behind the stair. I'll radio directions if you need help, but you've got to get down there quick. Get back here, Shepard. They're coming in through... Ah, rip them to shreds! Watch my back. I'll deal with Archangel. Thanks, Shepard. They hardly got through to me. And we took out Garm and his blood pack. This day just gets better and better. He was one tough son of a bitch. Only the Blue Suns are left. I say we take our chances and fight our way out. I think you're right. Tarek's got the toughest group, but nothing we haven't faced before. Besides, he won't be expecting us to meet him head on and... Getting you out of here, Garrus. Just hold on. Radio Joker, make sure they're ready for us. We better hurry. He looks bad. Commander, we've done what we could for Garrus, but he took a bad hit. The doc's corrected with surgical procedures and some cybernetics. Best we can tell, he'll have full functionality, but... Shepard? <laughs> Tough son of a bitch. Didn't think he'd be up yet. Nobody would give me a mirror. How bad is it? Hell, Garrus, you were always ugly. Slap some face paint on there and no one will even notice. Oh, oh, don't make me laugh. Damn it, my face is barely holding together as it is. Some women find facial scars attractive. Mind you, most of those women are Krogan. Frankly, I'm more worried about you. I've heard bad things about Cerberus these past few years. That's why I'm glad you're here, Garrus. If I'm walking into hell, I want someone I trust at my side. You realize this plan has me walking into hell, too. Mm. Just like old times. I'm fit for duty whenever you need me, Shepard. I'll settle in and see what I can do with the forward batteries. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we'd joined up with them sooner. We haven't joined Cerberus. They're funding our mission. That's all. Relax, Shepard. Just a figure of speech. I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. What did your Merc squad do? Didn't sound like you were available for hire. You saw Omega. It was full of thugs kicking the helpless. I formed my team to kick back. We weren't mercenaries. At least nobody was paying us. We made money by taking down slavers, pirates, or gangs that went too far. It sounds like you were just another gang. Then I'm saying it wrong. We didn't shake anyone down. No civilian casualties. That was our rule. Every member of my team had lost someone to Omega's gangs. We weren't out to get rich. We were out to make those bastards think twice before murdering someone in the street. Doesn't sound like you made any friends with the gangs. I got three separate merc bands to work together to take me down. My manager at CSEC would be impressed. It was simple. We'd hit their shipments, disrupt activities, get under their skin, make them angry. 
They'd come charging right into our well-prepared kill zone. Crossfire and snipers, clean and surgical. They never stood a chance. How'd you end up fighting mercenaries here on Omega? I trained to become a Spectre after the Normandy was destroyed, but it didn't work out. Too much politicking at the Citadel. Nobody was willing to take risks. Omega was filled with criminals nobody else could touch. And there was no red tape to slow me down. It was a perfect fit. People here needed someone to believe in. Someone to stand up to the local thugs. That explains how you started. How'd you end up with a squad? Not too different from how you formed your squad to fight Saren, actually. You prove that you get things done, and people join up. Mercs who wanted to atone. Security consultants tired of playing by the rules. I gave them hope. And now they're dead. Shows what I know. Tell me about your squad. There were twelve of us, including me. Former military operatives. CSEC agents. The usual. Had a Solarian explosives expert. Pretty sure he'd spent time in the special tasks group. My tech expert was a Batarian, believe it or not. Not the friendliest guy, but he could hack any system ever built. How did those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidomis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him. And because I didn't see it coming. Do you know where Sidonis is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sidonis. One day I'll find him and correct that. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I've got something. I may need your help. You remember Sidonis, the one who betrayed my team? I found a lead on him. There's a specialist on the Citadel. Name's Fade. He's an expert at helping people disappear. Sidonis was seen with him. Where do we find Fade? I've arranged a meeting. We'll meet him in a warehouse near the Neon Markets down on Zakara Ward. Thanks, Shepard. I appreciate you taking the time to help me. Not quite how I imagined you. Looks can be deceiving. So, which one of you wants to disappear? I'd rather see you make someone reappear. Ah, uh, that's not the service we provide. Make an exception. Just this once. Damn it! Quick! Shoot them! Shoot them, you <laughs> Too slow. Why do I even bother? We need to find a client of yours. I suggest you cooperate. Wait. I'm not the one you want to talk to. I'm not Fade. I knew it. Well, then maybe you'd like to tell us where to find him. Yes, of course. He's in the factory district. Works out of the old prefab foundry. I know the place. Oh, he's got a lot of mercs there. Blue Suns. Harkin thinks they're protecting him. How the hell did Harkin end up being the Fade? Well, he got fired from CSEC a while back. He used his knowledge of CSEC and their systems to help a few people disappear. Then he made himself disappear, and Fade was born, so to speak. Interesting. But it changes nothing. We still need to find him before we can get to Sedonis. Well, let's go pay Harkin a visit. We'll need to go to the transit station. I can get us to him from there. So I, uh... I can go? Sure, but if we don't find Harkin, we'll be back for you. Oh, good.
There he is. Shepard? Don't just stand there. Stop them! Stop them! Run all you want, Harkin. We'll find you. So Harkin's finally gone completely bad. He was always a pain in the ass, but I'm in no mood for his games. If he doesn't cooperate, I'll beat him within an inch of his life. You seem to be getting tense, Garrus. Harkin may know why Sedonis wanted to disappear. If so, he knows why we're here, and I don't want him tipping Sedonis off. Did you see that? I saw something. He's getting ready for us. We won't catch him waiting here. Right behind you. What do you need? I'm looking for someone. Well, I guess we both have something the other one wants. That had a hurt. Maybe you should just tell us what we want to know. Maybe. I still haven't heard what you want. You helped a friend of mine disappear. I need to find him. I might need... A little more information than that. His name was Sedonis. Turian came from the... I know who he is, and I'm not telling you squat. Is this information really worth all the trouble? I don't give out client information. It's bad for business. <coughs> you know what else is bad for business? <coughs> A broken neck. Uh, all right, all right. Get off me! <coughs> Terminus really changed you, huh, Gareth? No, but Sidonis opened my eyes. Now arrange a meeting. I'm going. Yeah, it's me. There's a chance your identity may be compromised. That's why I'm calling. I'm sending an agent. Where do you want to meet? All right, he'll be there. Don't worry, I got it covered. It's all good. He wants to meet you in front of Orbital Lounge, middle of the day. So, if our business is done, I'll be going? I don't think so. You're a criminal now, Harkin. So what? You're just gonna kill me? That's not your style, Garrus. Kill you? No. But I don't mind slowing you down a little. <laughs> Maybe it seems like a blood trail to follow. Bastard! You're lucky. I wouldn't have shot you in the leg. What'd I ever do to you? Sidonis better be there. Or I'm coming back to finish the job. Harkin's a bloody minute. We shouldn't have just let him go. He deserved to be punished. Don't waste your time on him. Let's see sec deal with him now. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Thanks for helping me with this, Shepard. I'd do the same if I were you. I learned from the best. I need to set up. I can get a clear shot from over there. You just want me to get him in position? Basically, keep him talking for a minute. When I've got him in my sights, 
I'll let you know. Give me a signal so I know you're ready, and I'll take the shot. You better go. You'll be here soon. This won't take long at all. You want a Harkins man? I don't remember seeing you before. That's it. Just keep him talking a few more seconds. I was told Harkin was one of the best. This better not happen again. Oh, it won't. Don't worry. What? Shit. Betrayal repaid, Sidonis. That was easy enough. Clean and simple. Good work. Thanks for helping me, Shepard. Let's get moving. I need to get away from this place. Right with you. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure, just killing time anyway. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Sedona's. Whatever happens with the Collectors or the Reapers or whoever else comes after us, I know you'll get the job done. You actually think we'll find something worse than Collectors or Reapers? I like to expect the worst. There's a small chance I'll be pleasantly surprised. I couldn't do this without you, Garrus. Sure you could. Not as stylishly, of course. It's strange going into a suicide mission on a human ship. Your people don't prepare for high-risk operations the way Turians do. I thought you'd be used to high-risk operations on human ships. I mean, think about trekking Saren to Ilos. Sure, but that was quick. We raced out, landed, blew up some geth, and saved the galaxy. This time we've got Miranda and Cerberus and that AI all telling us what we're up against. I think I preferred blind optimism. Honestly, Garrus, what do you think our chances are? Honestly? The Collectors killed you once, and all they did is piss you off. I can't imagine they'll stop you this time. But, an unmapped area, advanced technology, and the Collectors. We're going to lose people. No way around that. Not a happy analysis, I know. Don't worry. I won't spread it around. And I'm with you regardless. Do you ever regret leaving CSEC or the Turian military? Not for a minute. When it comes down to it, Shepard, I don't think I'm a very good Turian. When a good Turian hears a bad order, he follows it. He might complain, but he knows his place. I just don't see the point in staying quiet and polite. Not when the galaxy is at stake. How do Turian crews get ready for high-risk missions? With violence, usually. Turian ships have more operational discipline than your alliance, but fewer personal restrictions. Our commanders run us tight, and they know we need to blow off steam. Turian ships have training rooms for exercise, combat sims, even full-contact sparring. Whatever lets people work off stress. You mean Turian ships have crewmen fighting each other before a mission? It's supervised, of course. Nobody's going to risk an injury that interferes with the mission, and it's a good way to settle grudges amicably. I remember right before one mission, we were about to hit a Batarian pirate squad. Very risky. This recon scout and I had been at each other's throats. Nerves, mostly. She suggested we settle it in the ring. I assume you took her down gently? Actually, she and I were the top-ranked hand-to-hand -hand specialists on the ship. I had reach, but she had flexibility. It was brutal. After nine rounds, the judge called it a draw. There were a lot of unhappy betters in the training room. We uh, ended up holding a tiebreaker in her quarters. I had reach, but uh, she had flexibility. More than one way to work off stress, I guess.
It sounds like you're carrying some tension. Maybe I could help you get rid of it. I uh, didn't think you'd feel like sparring, Commander. What if we skipped right to the tiebreaker? We could test your reach and my flexibility. Oh, I didn't. Hmm. Never knew you had a weakness for men with scars. Well, why the hell not? There's nobody in this galaxy I respect more than you, and if we can figure out a way to make it work, then... Yeah, definitely. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Yeah. I've been thinking about what we talked about. Blowing off steam, easing tension. I've never considered cross-species intercourse. And damn, saying it that way doesn't help. Now I feel dirty and clinical. Are we crazy to even be thinking about this? I'm not sh Look, Shepard, I know you can find something a little closer to home. I want something closer to home. I want you. I want someone I can trust. I can do that. I'll find some music and do some research to figure out how this thing should work. It'll either be a night to treasure or a horrible interspecies awkwardness thing. In which case... Fighting the Collectors will be a welcome distraction, so, you know, a win either way. You know, Garrus, if you're not comfortable with this, it's okay. I'm not trying to pressure you. Shepard, you're about the only friend I've got left in this screwed-up galaxy. I'm not gonna pretend I've got a fetish for humans. But this isn't about that. This is about us. You don't ever have to worry about making me uncomfortable. Nervous, yes. But never uncomfortable. So when should I book the room? I'd wait, if you're okay with it. Disrupt the crew as little as possible, and take that last chance to find some calm just before the storm. You know me, I always like to savor the last shot before popping the heat sink. Wait. That metaphor just went somewhere horrible. I'll let you get back to work. Right. Because I'm in a great place to optimize firing algorithms right now. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Definitely. Part of me still thinks we're crazy for even considering blowing off steam. But I want to try it with you. I want a few moments that are just for us, before we throw ourselves into hell for the good of the galaxy. I want that too, Garrus. Glad to hear it. I'll do some, uh, research and figure out how to, you know... Okay, that sounded bad. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Actually, wanted to talk. Medical matters. Aware that mission is dangerous. Different species react differently to stress. Sexual activity normal stress release for humans and Turians. Still, recommend caution. Mourn of chafing. I intend to be cautious, Doctor. But Garrus is important to me. You're not gonna scare me off. Of course. Hormones. Regardless, come see me later. May need analgesic chafing. You have a recommendation as a doctor? Turians based on dextroamino acids. Human ingestion of tissue could provoke allergic reactions. Anaphylactic shock possible, so don't... <clears throat> ingest. Also forwarding advice booklet to your quarters. Valuable diagrams, positions comfortable for both species, erogenous zone overviews. Can supply oils or ointments to reduce discomfort. Gave ED electronic relationship aid demonstration vids to use as necessary. Wait a minute, Morden. You're just yanking me around, aren't you? Shocking suggestion. Doctor-patient confidentiality, a sacred trust. Would never dream of mockery. Enjoy yourself while possible, Shepard. We'll be here studying cell reproduction. Much simpler, less alcohol and mood music required.
hey, I brought wine. Best I could afford on a vigilante salary. Sidonis. I want something to go right. Just once. Just... Saren, now the Collectors, remind me never to get on your bad side, Shepard. I almost feel sorry for the Reapers. Have you got a minute? I've got some diagnostics to finish, but don't worry, I haven't forgotten, uh, what we talked about. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. What have you got? As your partner said, succession is usually simple. But right now, the hierarchy's in chaos. So many dead are MIA. I need someone, I don't care who, as long as they can get us the Turian resources we need. I'm on it, Shepard. We'll find you the Primarch. Garrus! Vicarian, sir. I didn't see you arrive. At ease, General. You're alive. I'm hard to kill. You should know that. Good to see you again. I thought you'd be on Palavin. If we lose this moon, we lose Palavin. I'm the closest damn thing we have to an expert on Reaper forces, so I'm... advising. James, this is Garrus Vakarian. He helped me stop the Collectors. He's a hell of a soldier. Lieutenant, good to see you too, Liara. Good to see you in one piece, Garrus. General Corinthus filled me in. We know who we're after. Palavan Command tells me that the next Primarch is General Adrian Victus. Victus? His name's crossed my desk. Know him, Garrus? I was fighting alongside him this morning. Lifelong military. Gets results. Popular with his troops. Not so popular with military command. Has a reputation for playing loose with accepted strategy. You think he can get the job done? We both know conventional strategy won't beat the Reapers. Right now, he could be our best shot. And I trust him. 
Okay, let's get him on the shuttle and get out of here. Commander! Shepard, come in! Can this wait, Joker? We're in the middle of a war zone. We've got a situation on the Normandy, Commander. It's like she's possessed. Shutting down systems, powering up weapons. I can't find the source. I need the Normandy standing by. We may have to bug out. Should I go back and take a look? Do it. Garrus, you said you were with Victus this morning? Yeah, but we got separated. He went to bolster a flank that was breaking. Could be anywhere out there. We're trying to raise him, Commander. Incoming Harvester! Headed for the airfield! General, tell Primarch Victus we'll rendezvous here. In the meantime, let's go take care of whatever that thing dropped off. Coming, Garrus? Are you kidding? I'm right behind you. Shepard, Corinth is here. What's the word of the Primarch? Still can't get a stable comm link. Okay, I'm going on foot. Shepard out. Garrus, take me to the last place you saw Victus. General Victus? Yes? I'm Commander Shepard of the Normandy. Not Commander. I know who you are. I can't wait to find out what brings you out here. Vicarian, where did you go? Heavy Reaper unit on the right flank. I believe your exact words were, get that thing the hell off my men. Appreciate it. General, you're needed off planet. I've come to get you. It will take something beyond important for me to leave my men or my Turian brothers and sisters in their fight. Fedorian was killed. You're the new Primarch. You need it immediately to chair a summit and represent your people in the fight against the Reapers. I'm Primarch of Palavan. Negotiating for the Turian hierarchy. Yes. I've spent my whole life in the military. I'm no diplomat. I hate diplomats. War is your resume. At a time like this, we need leaders who've been through that hell. I like that. You're right. And honestly, uniting these races may take as much strength as facing the Reapers. You see this devastation, Primarch? Double that for Earth. I need an alliance. I need the Turian fleet. Give me a moment to say goodbye to my men. Without him down here, there's a good chance we lose this move. Without him up there, there's a good chance we lose everything. Look at that. And they want my opinion on how to stop it? Failed CSEC officer, vigilante, and I'm their expert advisor? Think you can win this thing, Shepard? Yeah. I don't know, Garrus, but I'm sure as hell gonna give it my best shot. I'm damn sure nobody else can do it. For whatever it's worth, I'm with you. Welcome aboard. Are you ready, Prime Mark Victus? One thing. Commander, I appreciate your need for our fleets, but I can't spare them. Not while my world is burning. But if the pressure could be taken off Palavan... That's a pretty tall order. We need the Krogan. I can't see us winning this thing without them. Get them to help us, and then we can help you. The Krogan? Looks like your summit just got a lot more interesting. Garrus. Didn't waste any time getting to work, I see. After what I've been through lately, calibrating a giant gun is a vacation. Gives me something to focus on. We're gonna need you for more than your aim. Oh, I'm ready for it. But I'm pretty sure we'll still need giant guns. And lots of them. Can't argue with that. Yeah, so... Is this the part where we... shake hands? Wasn't sure about the protocol on reunions. 
or if you even still felt the same way about me. The scars are starting to fade. I remember they drove you wild. <laughs> but I can go out and get all new ones if it'll help. I haven't forgotten our time together. Well, I've been doing some more research on human customs. I... That's the protocol on reunions. The vids mentioned it might go something like that. I had hoped it would. I mean, I didn't know if... I can't promise how things will work out. Not with this war. But I missed you, Garrus. I thought about you a lot. Glad to know my romantic, um, <clears throat> skills made an impression. Because it's going to take more than Reapers to come between this cross-species liaison. <laughs> Speaking of which, you said you're the expert advisor on Reapers now? It's not as impressive as it sounds. I ruffled some feathers, so they gave me a token title, along with a token task force, so I'd shut up. How'd you manage that? Just followed your example, Shepard. Yell loud enough and someone will eventually come over to see what all the fuss is about. Not that they'll actually do anything about it. Until hell shows up at their door. Then they put you in charge. <laughs> Not like the old days, is it? Rogue Spectre and CSEC agents running and gunning outside the lines, making it up as we went along. We're actually respectable now. Yeah. I have a feeling that respect comes with a lot of sleepless nights. I can't even count how many lives are depending on us, Garrus. Well, when things are looking grim, and I'm pretty sure they will, just remember... We're in this together. And if it ends with both of us dying in a giant explosion taking out a Reaper... Remember I took the kill shot. Something else you want to talk about? You mentioned you still had family on Palavin. My father is there. Sister, too. How long's it been since you heard from them? Long enough to be worried. I'm sure they're okay. That's the thing about getting old, Shepard. The platitudes get just as old. What about you? Any word from your family? My mother's in the Alliance. Haven't heard from her since Earth got hit. I'm sure sh she's... okay. I know you don't have any illusions about what we're up against, Garrus. How do you rate our chances? I know it looks bad now, but I think we can win this, Shepard. For the first time since we met, we're not alone in the fight. It's something I learned long ago in CSEC. An imminent and painful death has a way of motivating people. Instead of questioning your every word, whole civilizations are going to be begging you to save them. After what's happened to Palavin, you still believe that? I didn't say there wouldn't be casualties. It's something Turians are taught from birth. If just one survivor is left standing at the end of a war, then the fight was worth it. But humans want to save everyone. In this war, that's not going to happen. So what's this Reaper task force you've been running? After the Collector base, I knew time was running out. For all of us. The Citadel Council was a dead end, so I did something I never thought I'd do. I went to my father. He used to work for CSEC, didn't he? I seem to remember that the two of you didn't see eye to eye. To put it mildly. But he still had heavy pull in the Turian government. The Primarch, well, the old one, was a friend of his. So I went to my father and laid out everything we knew about the Reapers, from Saren all the way to the Collector base. Let me guess, he laughed in your face. Amazingly, no. He just listened. My father may have been a pain in the ass about rules and regulations, but he never let politics cloud his judgment. If the connections were there, he wouldn't deny them. And he saw what we always knew. The Reapers were coming. I'm glad someone finally agreed. He did more than agree. He took it to the Primarch. I like his style. Except the Primarch wasn't as convinced. My father kept pushing and finally got him to commit some token resources. And if you call them a task force, it sounds like you did something about it. What'd you do with it? As much as I could get away with. And a little more. 
We hardened our lines of communications, expanded emergency stockpiles across the colonies, improved our early warning detection protocols. You think it helped? I'd like to think it bought our fleet some extra time. We'll know when this war is over. So you can vouch for this new Primarch? Well, even if I couldn't, you go to war with the army you have. Will he live up to his word? I've never known Victus to lie. Play fast and loose with strategy, maybe, but betray an ally. Not his style. Then if he did try, well, we'll just find another Primarch. I noticed generals saluting you, Garrus. How far down the line of secession are you these days? Let's not go there. Why not? I've seen you in action. Think about it. Primarch Vicarian, honored war hero. Somebody's gonna have to rebuild Palavan when this is over. Your confidence is... inspiring, but it'll have to be someone who knows how to hold the hammer. That's all for now, Garrus. But stay close. We've got some catching up to do. Do you know where to find me? And this time... I can afford the good stuff. There are a few perks to being an expert Reaper advisor. Deal. Now, I'm sure somebody screwed up something down here. I want to get the old girl back in fighting shape. Shepard. What's happening? We convinced the Council to accept our wounded. Nowhere else to go. How bad is it? More dead than injured. 85% killed in action. We'll need a morgue soon. Not a lot of flesh wounds when you're fighting rapers. Casualties are that high? Our frontline units are being wiped out, whole platoons at a time. A single reaper can destroy nine or ten of them in one attack. That's not war. It's slaughter. They're called reapers for a reason. And these guys found out why. Do what you can for them. A few of them might get back on their feet, but the rest... Sympathy is about all we can offer. Any sign of your family? Not yet, but I keep hoping. What about you? I'm starting to see some wear and tear. I won't lie. It's been rough. Well, don't forget to come up for air. And not just because all these people need you. Because I need you. Commander, Erdnot Rex has begun sending troops to Palavan. You kept your end of the bargain, and now I'll keep mine. The Turian hierarchy will stand with humanity against the Reapers. I'm glad we can help each other out. It's the only way we're gonna defeat the Reapers. That much is certain. To that end, several dry dock ships are ready to help build the Crucible. Garrus will coordinate them. Yes, sir. And when the time comes to deploy it, the full measure of our fleet will be there for Earth. May the spirits watch over us all. I'll start managing Turian support right away, Shepard. You must be exhausted. Morden dying... it can't be easy. I'll sleep when I'm dead. We both know you need a clear head to win a war. There's no room for mistakes here. You should catch some shut-eye. Besides, I know where you sleep. We'll wake you if anything comes up. If you insist. <sighs> Never thought I'd see the Krogan and the Turians team up. Even the Reapers have to be a little nervous about pissing them off. I'd say more than a little. I'm sorry about Morden. He was a good man. Yeah, he was always running those tests. And one time he tagged me in the middle of the night to ask how many livers humans had. And this bump on my elbow? He said it was just a mild bone deformation, but I'm pretty sure he stuck a probe in there. I'm glad it was just your elbow. I always thought he was crazy. Useful, but crazy. Then he gives up his own life. <laughs> to save the Krogan. Doesn't do much to disprove the crazy theory, huh? <laughs> I guess not. But he was one of ours. 
So now that we got the Krogan and the Turians, what now? The Krogan help us turn the tide on Palavin. They can shoot at something useful for a change. Dig till we hit daylight, huh? Works for me. So how does it feel knowing Krogan will be singing songs about you until the end of time? I think it would be an honor. There's enough misery in this universe. It's nice to see something go right for a change. Can't say I've ever really witnessed history in the making like this. Well, except for Sovereign attacking the Citadel, and then there was the Collector base, but this one felt good. And let's hope Rex keeps running the show onto Chunka. Maybe we should hire a food taster for him. Imagine the carnage if someone like that brother of his Reeve took over. It could happen. I know, it's a chance we have to take, but I have to say, if it wasn't my own world that needed the help, I might have taken that Solarian deal. I could never bring myself to do that, no matter what I was offered. I admire your restraint, Shepard. It's nice when we can save the galaxy without destroying another race along the way. Let's hope our luck holds. Shepard. Hell of a day. Udina loses his mind, the Citadel almost falls, and you almost had to put down a friend. Got a little tense there. If it had come down to it, could you have pulled the trigger? I don't see how. We start killing our friends and war turns into murder. But it doesn't always give us the easy way out, does it? At least Caden didn't have to join Ash. Let's hope she's looking out for us. This was her fight, too. Shepard, glad you came. What'd you have in mind? Something that doesn't involve fighting Reapers. I don't think they've conquered the bar yet. I already scoped it out. But then I thought, if this was my last day alive, I'd actually like to remember it. So? So, I had an idea. Where are we going? Somewhere we're not supposed to. Now you're talking. Ever have that one thing you always wanted to do before you died, Shepard? I've woken up with a Turian next to me. Still trying to make me blush, huh? Until it works. So what's your one thing? The whole time I worked at CSEC, I'd stare up at the top of the Presidium and say to myself, I want to go up there. But I never did. There were 137 regulations telling me I couldn't. So you got them changed? No. Now I just don't give a damn. <laughs> Figured it's time to do something stupid just for the hell of it. Might be the last chance we ever get. It's incredible. I'd be lying if I said I didn't hope it would inspire a certain... mood. Something on your mind? It seemed like you needed time to... figure us out. Are you ready to be a one Turian kind of woman? The only thing that made leaving Earth bearable was knowing you were out there somewhere. I felt the same way. The worst part about the galaxy going to hell would have been never getting to see you again. Well, here I am. Exactly where I want to be. I love you, Karis Vicarian. Wow. The vids Joker gave me, well, they never got this far. There was the part about sleeping together, but this is... I don't... Who needs a vid when you've got me? And now, before we head back, there is one thing we're going to settle. Once and for all. I'm not saying you don't know how to handle a gun, just saying some of us know how to make it dance. So, let's find out who's really the best shot. 
There are a few people in the galaxy who've seen me in action, Garrus. They seemed impressed. Yeah, but I've actually seen you dance, Shepard. No comment. All right, Vicarian, you're going down. And don't worry, I loaded it with practice lugs for when you miss. That was an easy one. Let you build up your confidence. Long range, I wrote the book. Nobody alive can do this, not even Commander Shepard. Give me a tough one. I said a tough one. Step aside. Do it. Nobody alive, maybe. But technically, I died. Yeah, well, next time we'll throw in a herd of rampaging clicks, and that's how you separate the rookies from the pros. <laughs> Shepard, you just knew the Geth would figure into this war somehow. Because Reapers weren't enough. Still, it's good to have Tally here. This is as much her fight as ours. Any word from Palavin? Some, and I don't like what I'm hearing. The Krogan are there, in force, but they're just slowing the Reapers down, not stopping them. I'm not sure it's going to be enough. You hear anything from your family? You will. But I did hear from Primarch Victus. He wanted my advice on fleet strength when the Crucible is ready. Still can't get used to people asking me things like that. What did you say? I said, at some point, we're going to have to decide if our fleets keep defending Palavin or we go on the offensive. Can't do both. Not with the beating we're taking. Like I said, not the sort of questions I'm used to answering. You can't let them know that. If people lose confidence in their leaders, this war is over. I told you once that I wasn't a very good Turian, Shepard. I never could follow bad orders. Now I'm the one giving the orders. And it shouldn't matter what anyone thinks about them. Except someone's dying at the end of every sentence. And someone's making it out alive, too. You're right. Though I'm starting to understand why the galaxy needs cold-hearted dictators every now and then. They get things done? They don't give a damn about the consequences. Suppose that's what it's going to take, Shepard. The ruthless calculus of war. Ten billion people over here die, so twenty billion over there can live. Are we up for that? Are you? If we reduce this war to arithmetic, we're no better than Reapers. A nice sentiment. Let's hope we can live by it. Any word from your family? They made it off Palavin. It was tight, but they're okay. That's fantastic. That must be a weight off your shoulders. It is. Though this being a war, one burden replaces another. What happened? I just had to make a tough call with the Primarch. He said our fleets are being decimated, so I advised him to cease all offensive operations against the Reapers. A full retreat? The only way to save Palavin now is to hold our ships back for the Crucible. But if I'm wrong, then a lot of other Turian families won't be as lucky as mine. That's a hell of a gamble. No other options? If there are, I can't see them. It all comes down to the Crucible now. And ruthless calculus. <sighs> How are you holding up, Shepard? This all has to be taking a toll. There's only so much fight in a person. Only so much death you can take before you... Before a certain Turian with no romantic skills to speak of tries to cheer you up. Cheer? Coming from you? Mm. Mood swings. Don't worry. We'll get through this. We always do.
having a bad day, Shepard? You could say that. Landing pad is just over there, but it's behind a locked gate. Let's look for a control panel. Nice outfit. Control panel, right. Word is, you fell through a fish tank. We'll talk about it later. Damn shame. Great food there. We'll talk about it later. Stand back. Hold on. Hi there. Uh, could you open this up? Much appreciated. Please leave. Well, I could have done that. the best I could without a carapace or a crest. Your best has my mandible on the floor. Damn! You know, I shaved my legs for this. Oh, and I even put Katsula over where I got shot. Just smile and wave, Brooks. so well for him it wasn't a total loss Brooks work with Edie to see if there's anything useful on those drives here's hoping I'll let you know what we find commander to borrow a phrase from Vega you looked smoking in that dress Shepard you got some looks so did I though the ones directed at me said how did a Turian like that get a girl like her? And the find out. How's it going? So, a Turian on shore leave. You come here often? Is this that, uh, first date thing we talked about? Got it. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I come here often. Hmm. Good place to blow off steam. Scenery's not bad either. Though the view in front of me is even better. Hmm. That's supposed to melt a girl's heart? No. But this voice is. I'm Garrus Vicarian. Codename. Archangel. All-round Turian bad boy and dispenser of justice in an unjust galaxy. Also, I kill Reapers on the side. And you are? Commander Shepard. Alliance Navy. Hmm. Shepard, huh? I might have heard a few things about you. Oh. Flatter me. Word is you're smart. Sexy. A wicked shot. Also, you kill Reapers on the side, too. Uh-huh. And do most girls fall for that? Well, sure, you know. This voice and, uh... And, um... Uh, I'm running out of banter here, Shepard. Make it up. Remember, we just met. Right. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. All the girls fall for it. Let me show you. But what are you doing? It'll be fun. Oh no, 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 no! 
Been taking lessons on the side. You're gonna pay for this later. Promises, promises. reach and flexibility to good use. You know it. And it gets even better when you try it in bed. So, Shepard, you can serve this will, but can you drink it? Someone has to drive y'all home. Are we sure the Normandy is still there? Has anyone else tried to steal it? Stealing the Normandy? Now there's an idea. Wait, what? Who? Trainer, you still have your toothbrush? We can always get another Normandy. Call up Cerberus and ask them to please build us the SR3. But wouldn't that require you to change your name? Tali Zora von Normandy SR3. It's Vas Normandy. <laughs> Von means one who has a weak bladder, which feels appropriate right about now. We've seen a lot of good times on the old girl. That we have, indeed. Here, here. Some of you more than others. I'm just honored to have squeaked in. To the Normandy. And to falling in love with the ship's captain. Captain on deck! Has she always been like this? Shepard is saving the galaxy. You have to forgive a few eccentricities. It's very enthusiastic. It is impressive. Hey! That's my girlfriend. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. I almost kept it straight. What is she doing with her arms? <laughs> good to see some things don't change. Well, I like it, Commander. It's good to see you cut loose now and then. Thank you for all your loyalty and support. Don't make me come over uh, Shepard, is it, is it just the alcohol, or do you have vids running in your head of us mostly naked, completely alone, and shamelessly rolling all over a couch? Hey, everyone! Come over here for a minute. Let's get a photo to remember this. Arrange yourselves on the sofa. An excellent suggestion, Shepard. Great idea. I want a copy. Make way! Make way! Thanks for coming, everyone. Here's to us. Ready, Glyph? Of course. If you could all please direct your attention this way. Okay, everyone say Normandy! Normandy! Normandy. Look who 
lives here. Uh, yeah, I hung out a lot of places last night. Your upper body, your lower body, pretty much all the parts in between. Torians certainly don't lack for a sense of direction. And you don't lack for places to get lost. Let's see if anyone else is up. Shepard, thought you might be up here. Do you know what the best part is about a battle that decides the whole fate of the galaxy? Winning it? I was thinking it's a good excuse to remind the ones you care about that... Yeah, well, you care about them. Want some company? <laughs> you read my mind. Hmm, guess I'm getting pretty good at this. But, some more practice wouldn't hurt. anyway, so dreaming about it is just a waste of good sleep. What about now? I'm expecting a tough fight. What's bothering you? Can we ever be ready for a battle like this? Everything we've ever known. It's all hanging by a thread, Garrus. Yeah, but the truth is, when hasn't it? Every fight we've ever seen could have been our last. Every bullet we've ever dodged could have been the one. <laughs> there have been a lot of bullets. And this time around, they're just a little bigger. <sighs> I don't know what I'd do without you. We will be through momentarily. Shepard, that console has not been fully scrubbed. It contains data you may find interesting. What am I looking at? Project Lazarus, your reconstruction. It can't be done. It's not a matter of resources. It's always a matter of resources. We're not losing Shepard. Sir, Shepard is clinically brain dead. After that much trauma, that long with no oxygen, we cannot overcome nature. Operative Lawson disagrees. She is now in charge of Project Lazarus. I didn't realize it was that bad. Pretty stark. You okay? I'm still me. I doubt I'd have been able to turn against Cerberus otherwise. 
I don't remember anything. Maybe they really just fixed me. Or maybe I'm just a high-tech VI that thinks it's Commander Shepard. But I don't know. You're real. A little crazy, maybe, but real. Tissue regeneration is proceeding. The helmet kept the brain intact for whatever good that will do. Lawson will find a way. Sir, Shepard's an Alliance soldier. As far as she knows, we're a terrorist organization. I'm not looking for a dance partner. We need Shepard, and Shepard needs resources. She'll work with us. He really had you boxed in. Every instinct I had told me not to trust Cerberus. But I needed their help, so I played along. You did what you had to, Shepard. And I was there with you. Project Lazarus is reporting neurological activity. They're requesting more funding. Granted. Get me our potential recruits file. Shepard will be up soon. We need a crew. Our existing forces should be more than sufficient. No. We need sympathetic faces. I need Shepard invested. Tap Kelly Chambers and recruit Donnelly. I imagine Miss Daniels will follow. We'll want some old friends as well. Contact Dr. Chakwas and send me the psych profile on Shepard's pilot, along with a bottle of 47 Thessia Red. Sneaky little bastard. Use them to keep you from seeing the real Cerberus. How's that door coming, Edie? We are clear to proceed. Shepard. So I guess this is... Just like old times. <laughs> huh. Uh, hmm. Might be the last chance we get to say that. You think we're gonna lose? No, I think we're about to kick the Reapers back into whatever black hole they crawled out of. Then, we're going to retire somewhere warm and tropical and live off the royalties from the vids. Maybe even find out what a Turian human baby looks like. <laughs> I'm game. Though I think adoption's a better idea. Biology may not cooperate. Huh. I suppose there will be a lot of little Krogan around soon. We just have to beat the Reapers first. James told me there's an old saying here on Earth. May you be in heaven half an hour before the devil knows you're dead. Not sure if Torian heaven is the same as yours, but if this thing goes sideways and we both end up there, meet me at the bar. I'm buying. We're a team, Garrus. There's no Shepard without Vicarian. So you better remember to duck. Sorry, Turians don't know how. But I'll improvise. And Shepard, forgive the insubordination, but your boyfriend has an order for you. Come back alive. It'd be an awfully empty galaxy without you. Goodbye, Garrus. And if I'm up there in that bar and you're not, I'll be looking down. You'll never be alone. Don't argue, Garrus. We're in this till the end. No matter what happens here, you know I love you. I always will. Shepard, I love you. Go!
time while we still have many challenges ahead of us, we can face them together. And we will honor those who died to give us that future.